All right. Now we're doing free code camp, JavaScript algorithms and data structures, basic JavaScript, selecting from many options with switch statements. So if we need to match one value against many options, we can use a switch statement. A switch statement compares the value to the case statements, which define various possible values. Any valid JavaScript statements can be executed inside a case block and will run from the first match case value until a break is encountered. So here's an example of a switch statement, all right? So right here, we've got a switch and then fruit right here as the parameter. And this parameter is gonna come from something like this. So there'll be the function and then the switch statement in here. And this is the, uh, this parameter and this parameter are the same thing, all right? So now we'll have case apple. And if the parameter is apple, it's gonna have a console.log, the fruit is an apple, and then it'll break out of it. And then if the case is orange, the uh, console.log is gonna say, the fruit is an orange and then it'll break out, pardon me, break out of it. So uh, case values are tested with strict equality, the triple equal sign, and uh, the break tells JavaScript to stop executing statements. If the break is omitted, the next statement will be executed. All right. So now we're going to write a switch statement which tells, pardon me, which tests val and sets answer for the following conditions. One, two, three, four is going to be alpha, beta, gamma, and delta in that order. All right, so right here, we're going to start by having, uh, what are we going to do? We'll just say switch right here. So we'll do switch, and then we'll have the parentheses, and inside here we'll do val, since it's the same as this one right here. Uh, and then we're going to have the curly braces, and then we'll say something like this, case one, all right, since it's one right here. So it's this case one, and then we'll have the uh, colon, and then down here, we'll do something like this. We'll say uh, answer because we're having everything answer whatever it is. So right now answers a uh, an empty string and we're just going to change it to like alpha in this case. So answer equals alpha, excuse me, string alpha like that. And then we'll have a uh, semicolon at the end of this. And then we'll say down here break like that with another semicolon. All right, so now what we can do is just take this, copy it up to this, uh, what is it, the curly brace, and then we'll just put it down uh, three more times since we're doing four. So we'll do one, two, three like this. We'll say this one case four, case three, case two. This one will be beta. This one will be gamma. All right, gamma. And this one will be delta. All right, so delta. And that should work. Let's come down here and uh, wrap this up, this uh, little uh, function call in the parentheses. And then we'll say uh, console.log like that. And you can see one will give us alpha, two will give us beta, three will give us gamma, four, whoops, four. No, come on now. <laughs> anyway, four will give us... Uh, Delta, but what, watch what happens when we do five. Nothing, all right? So we're gonna address this in the next one. Let's run the test, looks good, and submit it. All right, now we're add, pardon me, now we're on to adding a default option in switch statements, and we'll see you next time.